Well, Vicki, I've been talking to various people, city leaders, police officers for much of the day, and they've been insisting that one of those officers is in very good spirits. That officer, of course, Major Aubrey Gregory, you just saw there, he appears to be doing very well. But that second officer that was shot and injured last night, he was hit in the abdomen and tonight remains here at University Hospital. He has a desire to be out on the lines with the, with the troops, so to speak. Which is exactly where Major Aubrey Gregory, commander of LMPD's Special Operations Division, was Wednesday night when shots were fired. LMPD was live streaming the protests when chaos erupted at Brook and Broadway. Shots fired, shots fired, officer down. According to the department, officers were responding to a call of shots fired in the area when there was more gunfire. Bullets hit officer Robinson Des Roches and Major Gregory. And thanks to an eyewitness, the alleged shooter, 26 year old Lorenzo Johnson, was taken into custody almost immediately. I want to emphasize how grateful I am for the work of LMPD. Uh, the men and women who are literally putting their lives on the line to protect our people and to protect our city. And what we saw last night with the two police officers being shot is obviously completely unacceptable. The mayor urged protesters to remain peaceful Thursday night while LMPD's acting chief promised the same number of officers joined by neighboring agencies would be back on the streets. It's a tremendous relief that they are going to be okay. FOP President Ryan Nichols praised De Rochez and Gregory for their dedication to the community. Gregory is seen here helping a woman cross the finish line of the mini marathon back in 2015. And despite what he called brutal attacks against law enforcement, Nichols said this. It's but by the grace of God that the officers are going to be okay and they'll be back out protecting the citizens of Louisville as soon as they possibly can. Now tonight, Rick, Vicki, just no timeline on how soon that officer could be released from the hospital. Meanwhile, just a few blocks that way, the suspected shooter in this case, Lorenzo Johnson, he remains behind bars at Metro Correction, set to face a judge in the morning. Reporting live tonight at, at University Hospital, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.